Hey everybody, we're going to do an example of the David Crowder song, How He Loves. I have a worship leader friend of mine here, Laquita, that's going to help me, and uh, but she doesn't want to be on the camera, so we can't <laughs> see her. And so we're going to do this song in the key of G, cover, cover some different rhythm concepts with it because it's got some dynamics we can play with. My son doesn't want to be on the video either, so he's playing the drums in the background. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes, and then uh, and then we'll explain it as we get going. So go ahead.
Okay, so, um, did you understand everything I did? Absolutely. All over it. Really? Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so we were playing with the dynamics of it a little bit. Um, one of the things is we've been talking lack of equipment. Um, just so you know, there's no pedals in this at all. Uh, this is a $150 beater guitar going through a $8 cord into a $75 amp. So any of the changes or anything that was going on was just by using the volume control and the, the picking of, of what I was actually doing. Um, the changes that we made as the song went along is about how much of the chord you put in for how big of a sound you're trying to drive. When you listen to a recording of any of these guys live, Jesus Culture, any of this stuff, there's three or four people playing guitar. And all their delays are controlled by a MIDI and their synthesizers and all kinds of stuff that you won't have in a basic scenario. So what you try to do is pick out the prominent guitar part, capture that flavor for that section of the song when you're the only guitar player. So when we started at the beginning, we were doing the the repetitious riff that's in the song. Uh, in the key of G, it's G, F sharp, um, C, I guess it is, and D, maybe. I don't know, I'm not good with my notes. But anyways, that's what it is. So can you play through the beginning part just kind of mellow like we were? attack you can get that by just picking soft now later on in the song we made that bigger in the instrumental section by playing the octave of it so it's the same note here two strings up and two frets down is another G. If you strum them together and deaden all the other strings, you get the octave of it. So when we were doing the jam at the end, that's all I did to make it thicker. So if we play it a little bit harder. bigger on the chorus we are actually using the same open chords that you know from when you learned on acoustic but the difference is we don't beat on them because of the distortion like we talked about before more distortion means play less so I'm gonna play it really really ugly one time just so that you can hear what that sounds like and then you'll know why to never do it okay go ahead you don't do it that way okay that's terrible so don't do that that will distract everybody um, what you want to do with the big chords when you have the distortion going you strum through them on the beat and then just let them ring and on the other beats you can pick back through them and just let them ring let the distortion do the work for you So we'll do that section one time with me not playing retarded and 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 we'll come out with the right result. Ready? Two, three. So when we do it 
that way, then they don't step all over each other. And the acoustic guitar is still driving the rhythm, and the electric's just creating the flavor, which is what you want to do. And then, and then learn the art of the fade with your volume knob. Let's go mellow. find will sound the best is if you put in the root note of the chord at the top of the measure like when the chord change happens what happened there is it still recording or what's it doing it is nice okay so um <laughs> so when she goes to a d chord i'm going to play the d5 shape but when a, in a mellow section i can back down my volume so i have less edge on the on the sound and I'll play the D note first and then pick through the other two. When she goes to C, I play the C first, pick through the other two. Okay, so go ahead and start and we'll do that real quick. That's about it. That gives you all the dynamics you need to kind of work with different songs. And uh, we weren't trying to recreate any of the albums. You can find that anywhere on YouTube if that's what you want to do. But in a simpler arrangement where you got one worship leader with a guitar and one of you playing electric, you can have pretty cheap equipment and still come out with a pretty decent sound. So keep worshiping Jesus. Talk to you guys later.